your host, John McDonald. Welcome. I've got the uh, privilege today to be interviewing John Sesso, the Senate Minority Leader from Butte. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Glad to be here. Tell me a little bit about uh, the district that you represent and your duties as the Senate Minority Leader. Well, I'm uh, from Butte. I've been representing Butte now for 12 years. This is just past my sixth session. And uh, we're a hard-working mining town uh, with a, uh, a penchant for trying to diversify our economy and uh, looking for every job every, every, under every stone to, to try to develop our economy in Butte. And uh, I have had the pl privilege of being elected by my peers for my last session in the House uh, in 2011 and now as a, as a freshman in 2013 and now as a sophomore in the Senate. Uh, I've been serving as a Senate Minority Leader. And for those that might not be very familiar with it, what is the chief responsibility as a Minority Leader in the legislature? Well, you're the captain of uh, the, the Democrats in the Senate. Uh, you know, you have to make sure that we're all there getting our business done, mm -hmm. number one, and to try to lead the group uh, as one. Uh, to try to use the power of, of uh, working together as one voice to try to move the best legislation forward. One of the uh, issues I want to visit with you about is exactly along those lines about what accomplishments you see from your position in the minority that were uh, the, the biggest achievements of the 2015 legislature. Well, I felt that uh, we had three or four m major goals coming in. Uh, we got almost all the way there. I think we're most proud of, of the health care piece, uh, providing health care for more Montanans, uh, to do it in a Montana-made way, uh, to develop a program that uh, combined the necessity to try to get health care to more people with uh, the responsibility to make sure that uh, we were doing it in, in the most cost-effective fashion. And uh, we were very proud of getting that done. We failed in 13, and it was great to get it across the finish line in 15. And now we got to go about the business of implementing and executing uh, at the at bureaucratic level. So, but from a legislative perspective, uh, there was there's a lot of citizens in our state that deserve to have health care, and uh, we're glad to get them that assistance through that bill. A second one that I think we're very proud of is uh, to get some uh, uh, light shed on the dark money in politics. Mm -hmm. I think that uh, it, it just, it's just—it's becoming ridiculous, the insidious amount of money and not knowing where it's coming from. I had the benefit of running unopposed quite a bit in my hometown, but my colleagues are running in districts that are very close and not knowing who's putting money in to defeating you uh, is something that's got to stop. Otherwise, we're going to lose uh, good people. We're going to discourage people, good people, from running for office and serving our state through a legislative position. So the bill that got passed uh, with respect to having to declare, uh, you can't hide behind this uh, uh, information group or that information group, uh, I think was a big step forward. Um, took a lot of uh, uh, kid, kidding, good-natured ribbing in that it was uh, 100 years ago when we needed to put a good campaign finance law in place because of the Copper Kings in Butte and 100 years later doing it again uh, as Montanans wanting to make sure we got as clean election process so that people can't buy their way into office but earn it just like uh, our, I think our citizens want us to. Mm -hmm. uh, we made some great strides also on the compact, um, the compact for the water rights up mm -hmm. in the Flathead, a very great piece of legislation that was worked on. Uh, came in in 13, was not ready for prime time. The group went back, got a better piece together. We addressed all the concerns. And I think lastly, uh, the uh, something that didn't get d done was uh, an onslaught on our public lands. There was uh, two dozen bills that was going to tweak how our public lands were going to be managed, and it I think was just a ruse for uh, this business of putting uh, the the lands in state hands. But we knew from our experience that 
you know, we can't afford to manage these properties uh, and, and, and still uh, make sure that they're accessible to our, our public and uh, making sure that uh, the public land stay in public hands was a, was a, a major accomplishment. I was a, a little disappointed on our infrastructure piece. We worked hard on that bill. Probably one of the bills that I worked the hardest on myself. Uh, but we weren't able to get that over the finish line for the wrong reasons. And uh, hopefully uh, we can do better next time. You know, the three issues that you mentioned as being uh, achievements for you, health care being one, uh, the dark money, the political contributions, and the water compact were all three bills that really required a lot of bipartisan work at the legislature. There were folks that that sided um, against their party on, on, those, on those bills. Talk a little bit about that and, and I think maybe bigger picture, um, your ideas on how you actually accomplish things at the legislature when you are in the minority, for instance. You know, I, I have come to the legislature, I got my, cut my teeth uh, in 05 and, and again in 09 when the state house was 50-50. And I really never knew any other way mm -hmm. that in order to get good legislation passed, you've got to work with both sides of the aisle. You've got to make sure you understand what everybody's thinking about a piece of legislation. And it, everybody comes with legitimate concerns. Uh, the, the idea that you've got to come with the idea that compromise is a good thing rather than a bad thing. And I, I am proud of my record in working with the middle uh, you know, so you don't get to score many touchdowns, uh, but you do a lot of blocking and you clear the way for the people to accomplish what we need to get done. And I think that uh, I am, I'm, I'm, I'm very dedicated to making sure that compromise and collaboration are the hallmarks of being a legislator. That's what it's about. You've got to bring your convictions and stand for the values particularly of your constituents, but of your, of your personal convictions and why you became a legislator. But you gotta come in with the value too that you have to compromise to move mm -hmm. the ball forward. You gotta collaborate with others. Uh, you can't let the perfect get in the way of what's possible. And uh, as, a, as a leader, uh, I've been able to do that. We've been able to form coalitions, uh, not in, in, in so much a political way, but in getting enough people who are interested in moving the best ideas forward. And that's the true working majority of the Montana legislature. Yeah. And it seems to have worked pretty well in 2015 it on did. some key issues. It Senator, did. I want to thank you for joining us today. We're visiting with Senate Minority Leader John Sesso of Butte at the Montana Democratic Convention here in Bozeman. Senator, I appreciate it very much. Thanks very much. Thank Glad you. To have, Glad thank to be you. here. Charter Local Edition has been an exclusive presentation of Charter Communications, providing original programming.